Well, the pandemic has certainly been tough for all of us, including kids. Parents in Waukee are turning to karate for the first time to help their kids gain some important skills. Local 5's John Diaz shows us what kids are learning and why some experts say it's so important. Ready and one. At 11 years old, Vivian Klutz is learning some neat karate moves. Board breaking and it hurts, but it's really fun. The orange belt just started here a few months ago, mid-pandemic. I don't think it's been too hard for me because I, I'm a kid and this has, I've gotten used to all of this. That positive mindset is just what instructor Mustafa Yahich is trying to instill. Awesome, we're going to start with that positivity and end with that positivity. Uh, with, with mental health being a big, big issue right now, uh, being positive in everything they do. The pandemic, an obstacle of sorts for many of us. Experts say activities Seven, like this, six, just the kind of thing kids need. Things that you can you do, as you can. Um, that are structured, exercises that are good for the body and mind are, are fantastic. And Iowa State professor Dr. Carl Weems says the pandemic has taken its toll on some children. It's all those stressors, traumatic and otherwise, that build up over time that, that change our physiology, uh, affect our brain development. He says we still don't know the long-term effects the pandemic will have. If this is hitting some critical periods where they would be normally getting to interact with their peers and learn emotional control, emotional regulation. And that's why some parents say they're here. It is so imperative to have physical activity in addition to mental health wellness. And for Vivian, she says she's one of the lucky ones. I know that some people have it worse, like they don't even get to come anywhere. They just get to sit in their houses, do online. And boy, Vivian is wise beyond her years. John, what are some other tips Professor Weems suggests for parents? Professor Weems talked about the importance of talking to your child and getting creative when it comes to starting the conversation with them. He says sometimes kids don't always respond to questions like, how do you feel or what are you thinking? Instead, he suggests asking questions like, who did you have lunch with today or how was that karate move? Stephanie? All right, John, lots of good advice in there. Thank you so much.